read the second question carefully and this question has some fig figure so we have to read and we have to identify what is given in the figure in the figure the electrical field lines on the left side so better i can write draw the uh, diagram again so this is our diagram Here, all these arrow indicates the electrical field lines moving from right side to the left side. So, better I can write here. This is our right side. This is our left side. So, here in the left side, we have a point B. And in the right side, we have a point A. Now, what is given in the question? The electrical field lines on the left have twice the separation of those on right. So you have to see the, 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 the distance between the two lines. In the left hand side, the electrical field lines are double than the right hand side. This is the information. Clear? So if you want to frame the equation, we can frame it now itself. The electrical field lines at the place of a which is equal to double the times of electrical field at the point B because the separation here the uh, the two indicates it's double the separation it's not double the times so here EA is stronger EB is weaker why it is weaker because whenever the lines gets more space then the electrical field strength at the point will get weaker so this is the information, this is the equations which they give in the first three lines. By using this, we are going to find two answers. So generally, we are going to use these equations for the second question. So first, we have to go finish our first part and then we can come and deal with this equation. So what is given in the first part? If the magnitude of the electrical field at A is 60 Newton per Coulomb. So what is the electrical field here? The electrical field strength at A point, which is 60 Newton per Coulomb. What is the magnitude of the force on the proton at A? So we studied these things in the theory. If you place the proton, positive charge here, the proton will be moving and the proton will have the force in the same direction of the electrical field. That means if you place the proton here, positive charge, it will have, it will experience the force in the direction of the electrical field. All these arrow marks indicates the electrical field direction. So if you place a proton, what will happen? It will experience the force in the same direction of the electrical field. So we are going to find what should be the force. Clear? So we already studied this information in the theory. The force experienced by the charge, which is equal to the charge multiplied by electrical field. Clear? Which will the charge, the force experienced by the positive charge better I can put positive charge here the force experienced by the positive charge which is equal to the charge multiplied by electrical field strength so which place we place the positive charge we are placing the positive charge in the point A so electrical field strength at point A now we are going to find the magnitude of the force so I have to substitute the value the charge value is 1.6 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 90 multiply by the electrical field strength at point A is given as 60 Newton per Coulomb. So here actually the electron is moving in the negative direction. So we have to get the answer in terms of negative. Why? Because it is moving towards the left direction. But they in the question they just ask only the magnitude. So better I am going to consider the magnitude of the value. So if you multiply you will get the magnitude of the force experienced by the proton so what's the answer 1.6 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 19 multiplied by 60 we got 9.6 multiplied by 10 to the power of minus 18 newton actually the answer is negative why because the electron is the proton is moving towards the left direction so we have to get negative but 
we consider only the magnitude value but i am not mentioning this negative here actually the negative says the protons is moving in the negative direction clear okay now we have to go for the second part what is the magnitude at the point p magnitude of the electrical field at the point a is given as 60 newton per coulomb but here we don't know what is the value at point b for that what i am going to do i am going to use this equation because these equations we framed after we read the first three lines from this question clear so therefore for the second part of the question the electrical field at a which is equal to double the times of lines separated in electrical field at point b so i am going to rearrange because we are going to find the value of eb that means electrical field strength at point b therefore eb which is equal the electrical field strength at point a divided by 2 as we already know the value of electrical field strength at point a is 60 so 60 over 2 gives the answer of 30 so that means from the diagram itself we will get the clear information because it's weaker why it's weaker you have to see the diagram what is the diagram what is in the diagram see the diagram well, see the line so if the the space between the two lines will be greater so electrical field strength at the point will be get weaker but in the right side all the lines are very closely packed so it's very close to each other so the st the strength of the field at point a will be greater clear so this is the answer for the b question okay third question 